my channel. It's me, Samantha, from SamanthaVegaMakeup.com. Today is going to be a rapid review video. I haven't done one in a while, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with my rapid reviews, basically they're just a more sped up review. It's straight to the point. No explanation, no demos, nothing like that. It's just talking about a product, getting to the point, do I like it or not? So today's rapid review is going to be on the new MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base. This eye base retails for $22 and is available through maccosmetics.com or through your local MAC store or MAC counter. And you will be getting 12 milliliters of product for that price. MAC describes this product to be an innovative new primer that keeps your eye makeup looking fresh and vibrant all day long. The humidity and sweat resistant formula prevents shadows from creasing and fading while allowing hues to stay color true for up to a full day. Comfortable and lightweight, the primer is infused with the rich antioxidants of vitamin E and is ideal for all skin tones and types. Now, as you can see, this product is one that comes out with a slight tint to it, but rubs out to be a clear product. Now, for those of you who have been keeping up with my tutorials, you have seen that I've used this in the past few tutorials that I've been doing, maybe the past three or four, I've been using this product. So it is recently released. This has been out for probably about two two and a half weeks now and I've been testing out since then. I purchased it the day that it came out and I for one feel like this is long overdue. And now I know a lot of you are familiar with Urban Decay or Too Faced primers to just name a couple that have the clear based primers and I always wondered why MAC never had any. So I am very excited that they finally released a primer that has no color to it. It dries down rather quickly. It doesn't leave a tacky feeling on the lid, which I do like and it doesn't leave the lid feeling dry or powdery, which is something that I like as well. They have found a way to capture a good balance of it not being tacky but not being powdery and dry because I feel like nothing will stick to your lid if it's powdery and dry and if it's tacky you have a better chance of it creasing on you when it's a little too tacky. Initially when I first started using this primer I wasn't too impressed. I felt like it did exactly what it was supposed to do. I didn't really feel like it enhanced the vibrancy of any of my colors. I just felt like it gave it more of a longevity and they did last a little bit longer and didn't crease. But I wasn't too impressed with it until I tried to film this exact look that I'm wearing yesterday and I messed up on one eye so I decided to wipe that whole eye over and start again but I figured hey I'm just doing a tutorial I'm not going out with this look so let me just go ahead and quickly kind of catch up to where I am on this eye so I didn't use any primer I just went straight into eyeshadows and honey let me tell you none of the eyeshadows that I put on were blending were um, sticking to my lid nothing like it was the worst blending that I've ever seen and that kind of let me see that this really does help shadows stick better and give a more vibrant appearance to your shadows as well. I will insert a clip for you guys really quick of me showing you how a pressed eyeshadow looks without this base and then with the base underneath and you can see that it enhances the vibrancy a lot and it really gives it something to stick to. My only concern is that sometimes I do find that it's a little bit too hard to blend with this particular base. It all depends on the eyeshadows that you're using. Um, there are certain eyeshadows that I've used with this MAC brand included that it does not blend out very well. But other than that, for the majority of the shadows that I use, I feel like this worked exceptionally well. So yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's a pretty good product. I don't think it's the best eye primer I've tried. I've even tried drugstore primers like my Jessie's Girl eye primer that I feel like works a little bit better than this. But overall, I think it will get the job done. So that is it for what I think about this new MAC 24 hour extended eye base. Hopefully that video was really nice and quick for you guys and straight to the point. So if you already own this product and tried it out, please let me know what you think down below, especially if you have oilier lids than I do, because I want to see how it does work on oilier lids since I don't have super oily lids. <laughs> for more information and a more in-depth review of this product, please check out my blog. I will leave the link down below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I did have a little bit of trouble getting the mask on, but I got it on. It was a very gentle, tingling feeling, but it wasn't uncomfortable. I really did.